Hi GI TV, I'm Bob the Axe Man Hildebrand and today is an interesting day because as you may or may not know, the 30th anniversary of the War for the Falkland Islands or the Malvinas Islands as Argentinians are wont to call them is fast approaching. Now this is one of the only conflicts in recent memory where both sides were equipped with very similar rifles, namely the British Army was equipped with a Finfal that only had semi-auto and the Argentinian military was equipped with a Finfal that had semi-auto and fully automatic capability. Very interesting, but it gives us an excuse to talk about the Lancer Tactical Fal Carbine Airsoft Gun. Now, as you may or may not know, again, the Fal is actually still in use by a lot of the world's militaries, namely uh, militaries in Congo, Tonga, uh, Sri Lanka, Belgium, and Sweden, to name a few. Now, as far as this gun goes, the gun is mostly made out of metal, except for the polymer stock and the polymer front foregrip. But it has a couple other features that I find very neat, namely a rail all along the top. Uh, this scope does not come with the gun. HKH put it on there to increase the tactical factor. I think it succeeded. succeeded. Uh, it also comes with dual sling swivels. Basically, this will swivel around to the right or the left, and there's a sling mount on the back that swivels as well. Uh, now, this gun comes with a 500 round high cap battery and a charger, which is awesome. Uh, it also comes with a fully functional bolt and a bolt release, which is pretty awesome. Um, let's see, other features on this gun uh, include, let's see here, oh yes, it does have semi and fully automatic capabilities, unlike the British Army versions back during the Falkland Islands War. Um, yeah, I think that's it for this gun, except for the fact that Lancer Tactical was very faithful to this and that they included a, uh, a gas pressure um, dial, so to speak, I guess. When you put a barrel extension or on the real gun, a suppressor, you actually have to change how much gas gets pushed back into the gun. So that's a small feature, but for movie buffs like me, that's a big one. Now, moving on to the other model we have is the Lancer Tactical Foul Tactical Airsoft Gun. It's tactical because one, it's shortened down and also has a lot of rails on the front. Now, this is a more modernized version of it. Also comes with a folding stock. It's a very heavy and robust stock. You just want to make sure you don't put your fingers in there uh, in between the gun and the stock where you're pushing out because you may uh, scrunch them up a little bit like I did earlier when the camera was not. <laughs> but it comes with a lot of the same features as the previous Lancer Tactical Carbine. Um, this has uh, a 500 round high cap. It comes with a battery and a charger um, and it does have a functional bolt and bolt release. And it's a very satisfying clack. Uh, the great thing is that it also comes with a pec box so you can mount your battery right on the front of the gun. Very cool, very awesome, and very tactical. Now, we're gonna check this out on the Chrono because both these guns are supposed to fire around 400 feet per second, but we're gonna show you on camera just to make sure, and then after that, we'll hopefully get a quick player's perspective. With Tim and myself, please stay tuned. And I've got Aaron Chewy Zidich here since Tim is out for the day. Um, and these guns both fire around 410 feet per second to 425. So definitely a little bit too hot for most fields, although I do know that some fields are doing 400 feet per second with 0.25s now. Uh, but as such, we took a look inside to get a better look at the internals. Aaron, what did you see? Um, basically just standard version three parts. So you're going to be able to upgrade this you know, with any version two slash three parts. 
So high speed, you know, high durability, long range, whatever you want to do, that's the extreme be able to do that. Oh, that's good. So you definitely have options, and, and you could possibly downgrade it to get it down to normal. Yeah, field yeah probably like a 120 in there right now, yeah. 120 spring. So like a 110 will be perfect. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, now, you did mention that, uh, let's say you can't afford to do that, or if you don't have money, or if you don't feel like putting in more stuff in yeah. there. You said that right out of the box, there is uh, a lot more tension on the spring. Or yeah, how, yeah. How, what did you say? Um, basically, since the spring's brand new, it has a lot more tension. Um, after around five, ten thousand 10,000 rounds, you're going to get like a settle-in period. Mm -hmm. So you're going to lose about 10 to 15 FPS. So you might just be just at 400 after that. So basically, instead of dropping money on the spring, it's very possible if they go through five to 10,000 BBs, yeah. the spring could just go Yeah, right it's down. not for sure thing, but it happens a lot. Okay, yeah. okay, that's fair play. Um, now, how would you use these on the field? Let's see. The tabs go on high speed CQB. Yeah. Um, I like the rails up front, the pec box. Um, it's, it's fine. You can put a lot of uh, different size batteries in here, mm. which is nice. But I just don't like how a whole lot of my stuff in my rails. Yeah. So that's the only downfall for this. But um, the QD back here is great for your one point sling, folding stock. Pretty much everything's good. Uh, I, I actually like the magazine on this. They're really easy to change. Yeah, they are. That's good. Right. Like, yes. Yeah, it looks it's a weird looking mag, but it's really easy to change. Let's see. So as far as that, just high speed CQB. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me take a look at that one, and you hold this for a second and ponder. Right. Now, I personally would would have to agree with Aaron on this one. I would use this for a CQB or actually vehicle borne operations. I've noticed uh, folding stocks are very handy when you're getting into and out of a vehicle. Uh, and to be honest. Um, yeah, it just makes it a lot more versatile in close quarter environments, like you said. Uh, the pec box, I'm actually a big fan of because, um, as you can tell, this is a folding stock. There's really no area to put the battery in right there. So if you didn't have the pec box, you have to put it, you know, you have to take the rail system off, put it in there, or put it somewhere. Uh, and I know on a lot of uh, M4s, you have yeah. to put a battery in the buffer tube, yeah, yeah. not much room. Yeah, exactly. This gives you a lot more room to put, well, a wide variety of batteries. So, those are my feelings. Um, it is a bit heavier than that one, I think, because of this stock. Yeah, it's a no stock and the yeah. rail and all that stuff. Uh, now, what do you think? How would you use that guy? Um, I, I'd use it just for the general purpose, like carbine rifle. Yeah. You know, good tight bore barrel, good gears. You know, like you know, 23, 24 rounds per second. Yeah. Go like 400. Just real basic, you know, run and gun because this is pretty light. Just put a little optic up there and you're good to go. Yeah, it does look like a good, be a very exceptional field gun. Yeah. So, all right, we'll make sure to check out, <laughs> check out uh, the Lancer Tactical. Foul Tactical Airsoft Gun. Uh, this goes for, I believe, uh, $229.99 on our website right now. And this is the Lancer Tactical Foul Carbine, which should go for $189.99. Uh, very similar in price, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I kind of prefer this one. You, you like this one, too. I like that one. They're both good guns, but yeah. I like that one because they're real. It's cool. Yeah. Well, check them out on airsoftgi.com. This is Aaron Chewy Zidich, and I'm Bob the Axeman Hildebrand. Nice way, by the way. Yeah. yeah. I'm Sergeant Scott Graham from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. I'm here to remind you to always wear eye protection when using your airsoft gun. Airsoft is a lot of fun, but it's not worth losing an eye. Like a cigarette.